This video is about fat burning versus sugar burning. So there's only two fuels that your body uses to make energy. And uh, one is fat and the other one is sugar. Now protein burns like sugar. And of course carbs are sugar. So of the three macronutrients, protein, fat, and carbs, um, the, fat, uh, the uh, protein and the carbs both digest the same way like sugar. So your body's either burning sugar or it's burning fat. So <clears throat> now there's some disadvantages to burning sugar. Ideally, your body's burning fat. So here are the disadvantages of burning sugar. Number one, the bad DNA gets turned on, meaning heart disease, cancer, and diabetes DNA gets turned on. So burning sugar <clears throat> 200 years ago was actually quite rare. And uh, people burn sugar if like maybe in the summertime there was a lot of fruit but they didn't eat a lot of fruit in the spring, fall, or winter. And the other time when people burn sugar is if they were being chased by a bear and they needed uh, quick energy to run to the nearest tree and climb up the tree. So, so the sugar burning spikes insulin. Now insulin is a very dangerous hormone. It creates inflammation and of course we know that in insulin is uh, very troublesome when it comes to diabetes. So what's interesting too is that so since sugar burning is so rare, it takes special DNA in order for that to happen. And it just so happens that that special DNA is the same DNA that causes heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. So the second bad thing about sugar burning is the inflammation. It goes up and then therefore pain goes up. And I'm gonna talk about this more for uh, number four. And then number three, <clears throat> burning sugar is anabolic, which means building for various um, pathological conditions. So the word anabolic in the ancient Greek language means mound building, or literally like digging your hands into the dirt and throwing up mud and creating a mound. So that's what anabolic means. So sugar burning is anabolic for cysts, fibroids, tumors, cancer tumors, and other space-occupying space lesions, moles, skin tags, and fat cells. Okay, so number four on this is um, Burning sugar creates waste, and there's a cycle called the lactic acid cycle, where cells burn sugar, waste is created, the waste has to be uh, cleaned up by the liver, and then the, from that the liver makes more sugar. So it's a cycle, and the waste produced includes lactate, which most of that is turned back into fuel, but not all of it. And whatever's remaining in the blood um, messes with the arteries. And then another waste is acetate, that's nail polish remover, that's poison. Another one is ethanol, that's alcohol. So if you see somebody eating pasta and then they get dopey and happy, that's because they're a little bit drunk. And it's not because they drank alcohol, it's because their body made it from burning the pasta, which is carbs, which is sugar. Also too, if you have a guy in his 50s or 60s and he's frequently pretty grumpy, it might be because he's an angry drunk and he's eating too many carbs, his body's making too much alcohol from burning sugar and some people are happy drunk, other people are angry drunk. Either way, stop burning sugar. You gotta convert your body over to burning fat. And that's true happiness right there. Okay, number five is uh, short-term energy. So sugar gives you short-term energy. For some people, it's only a half hour. Um, and at the most, it'd be like four hours. So if you see somebody eating uh, three meals a day plus snacks and they need to have their snacks, it's because they have very short-term energy. That's right here. And so they have to keep fueling rocket fuel and burning their tissues and creating inflammation and creating pain because the mitochondria in their cells are so used to burning sugar. So mitochondria are the little energy factories that are in each cell. There's hundreds of mitochondria per cell. And you want to exercise your mitochondria so that they go from sugar burning to fat burning. And you don't have to be fat burning 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for the whole year. You go in and out of fat burning. So if you go on vacation for a week, you're eating bad food, that's okay. But as long as you come back home and you get back into fat burning, that's how you reverse the damage that you did during your vacation. So here's the advantages of your body burning fat. Now, I do have to clarify, just eating more fat isn't enough. You have to, you have to convert your, body, your fuel to fat in the body. So here's sugar 
and here's fat. So as long as the sugar is higher in the blood, you will always be burning sugar. And over time, it may take three months, and there's all kinds of information on this online, and we can provide some. You want this to happen. So now your body has fat first, and it burns fat, and the sugar is basically uh, very low in the, sh in the blood. So in a, one of the advantages of being a fat burner is all this bad DNA that creates the chronic diseases, it all gets turned off. Um, number two, inflammation goes down and pain goes down. Number three, your um, body becomes catabolic for these pathological tissues. So it starts to break down the cysts, fibroids, tumors, moles, skin tags, and fat cells. So when you see an older person in their 80s and they have dark spots all over their skin and skin tags and moles and stuff like that, it's because their body's been burning sugar for 80 years. And it's, and it's anabolizing or creating um, pathological tissue and you can see it on the skin. So you want, it to, you want the body to be catabolic. And then uh, there's no waste when you're burning fat. There's just simply no poisons that are being produced. And since there's no poisons being produced, therefore less inflammation, less pain, uh, less groggy, no grogginess, um, no grumpiness, um, cloudy thinking goes away, and the brain works better. And, you know, and I'm talking about older people, but, you know, there's six-year-old children in school who can't think straight, and they're bouncing off the walls because they're eating so much sugar, they have so much poison in their blood, um, they need to be converted over to fat burning so that they can function better and their brain works better. And then lastly, um, you get long-term energy <clears throat> from burning uh, fat. So a healthy, high-fat meal, I mean, it could be six to eight hours or even more of being satisfied and um, having good brain power and having great energy and being happy. So there's every advantage of, of being a fat burner and being a sugar burner is just all disadvantage. So the Good Fat Bar is designed to help you convert over to being a fat burner, if you're um, being a sugar, a sugar burner right now. And even if you're not desiring to go from here to here, you just want a healthy snack that keeps you going throughout the day. Multiple um, candy bars and pop or soda isn't a good answer. Because if you do this throughout the day, it just causes so much harm. But you can have one good fat bar and it can last you six hours. So, or more. I had one at last. I had one and a half. It lasted me eight hours. So there's every advantage of being a fat burner, and we made the good fat bar to help you in that quest.